Hello friends, how are you guys? I'm so excited. I finally got something in the mail that I've been wanting for a very long time. As you guys know, right now we are remodeling our primary bedroom. We actually are in the middle of a project right now, which I think I'm gonna give you guys a huge sneak peek. Instagram family already noticed what's going on in the bedroom, but this thing that I'm holding in my hands is something that I've been wanting for a very long time. Literally all of my friends have it. I am so excited. I'm like, I cannot express to you how excited I am. You guys, Brooklinen sent me bedding. And I'm so excited. I'm also really excited to be working with Brooklinen in this video. Um, this is a dream come true. This moment in my life is huge. I possibly might cry as I put the bedding onto my bed. If you guys know me, you know I've been wanting to try Brooklyn in for so long. So I thought right now would be perfect because we're actually going away for a few days. So tonight I wanna wash these, I wanna put them on the bed so when I come home, after being away for a few days, I have the most relaxing, comfortable bed to sleep on. We are going away for a few days to Orange County for our friend Jose and Gabby's wedding. We've been waiting for this for so long. I'm really excited to hang out with you guys this weekend. But first and foremost, tonight I have to pack everything. Um, I have to make dinner real quick because I'm really hungry. I want to show you guys what we're doing in the primary bedroom. And then we are going to wash the Brooklinen bedding and we're going to put it on our bed. I... I'm so excited to just feel the clouds and the magic in this box. Also, thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. Uh, I will probably start crying the more that I think about it, but I love you guys. Thank you so much. They also gave me a discount code. I'm just going to let you guys know before we put it on the bed because I already 100% know that I will love this because I felt them before and they are just so freaking good so the discount code is kim tai i'll have everything linked down below for you guys as well make sure you guys check it out but do you want to see what we are doing in our primary bedroom okay you guys ready i just like i don't think you guys are ready yet so okay ready are you i will do a room tour when i'm ready but you guys isn't she beautiful Oh, we made the entryway into the bathroom and arch and I just, I'm telling you right now, I want to add arches everywhere in our house. Do you guys have arches in your house? If you don't, just do one and you just want them everywhere. They are so beautiful. Okay, let's unbox this together because I have to, oh, I'm so excited, take everything out to wash it anyways. But I got the Brooklinen Luxe Hardcore Sheet Bundle. Oh my goodness, and I got the color cream. They have like 20 plus colors and so many different designs as well if you don't wanna do solids. And I just love bundles because it literally comes with everything. You don't have to buy things individually. If you guys buy bedding individually, it actually comes out to be so expensive. So always go for bundles. But look at this cream color. I opted for a cream color um, so it went with, well with like the rest of our room. But this one has one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, two pillowcases. Um, and then this one has the duvet cover. And then over here, we have pillowcases. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. They feel so freaking soft. Oh my gosh, this is literally a dream come true. I also love this cream color. I think it goes really well with like, well, you can't really see them. You guys have seen them in previous videos, but I feel like it goes really well with like the pendants and the shiplap in our bedroom. Like this color matches our rug and then the cream. I feel like... As I keep going with this whole like, oh my gosh, this arch, it's so romantic. As I keep going with like the whole primary bedroom, like renovation remodel, um, I've been like adding new ideas in and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. I will say, you guys, I was so tempted to paint the shiplap brown. I saw um, Drew, he did like a chocolate brown in his kitchen and I was like, that is so beautiful, but... You guys, this cream color is perfect. Um, I'm 
so excited. It was in between this or white, but you guys know we have four dogs. So I was kind of like, ah, let's do something a little bit more relaxing and do cream. Before I go and wash these and um, put them in the laundry machine and then put them on our bed, which I'm so excited about. I literally told Carlos, I was like, you are going to shower. I'm going to shower. We're all going to shower before we get on the bed tonight. Okay. That is completely mandatory. But if you guys don't know too much about Brooklinen, uh, you guys literally, I've slept in them before. A few of my friends have them and they have the most comfortable bedding ever. Like everyone, everyone is right about them. Like it's so soft and comfortable. If you guys haven't checked out Brooklinen's website, definitely check them out. I'll link them down below for you guys to make it easier. Don't forget there is my discount code, KIMTAI, that takes $20 off any order of $100 or more. But I love Brooklinen because they really give you not only quality and comfort, but they give you both at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. So they were founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple and beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup. Cause you guys know bedding can be really, really expensive. And one of the things I love are their bundles. So what I have is the Lux Hardcore bundle. And this costs between $200 to $250, depending on the size of your bed. So I have a California King. Um, but if you compare this to like other luxury bed sheets, those typically cost like $500 plus. And I also, like I mentioned before, I love the bundles because you kind of get everything in one place. Buying them individually sometimes can be really, really expensive. I also love that they have over like 100,000 reviews and they're all five stars, you guys. Like literally more than any other online bedding company that I've seen. I also just love that you can replicate the same hotel quality sheets, but it doesn't have to cost you a whole arm and a whole leg and a few organs, okay? Everything is just so beautiful. It looks beautiful. It feels good. And I don't know about you guys, but self-care for me is making my home pretty. That's why I always focus on my home. I'm always redecorating, remodeling, changing things around. It's something that brings me a lot of comfort and makes me relax. Um, I'm a very anxious person, so I love anything home related. So. I'm so excited that Brooklinen is now a part of our family. Make sure you guys check out the one that I have. I got the Brooklinen Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle and it is so, so soft. You can choose a mix match between 20 plus colors and patterns. Um, to fit your bedroom and your vibe in your home. And also, instead of buying those individual items, like I mentioned before, you can save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes the core sheet set, extra pillows, and a duvet cover. Okay, let's go wash you. I'm so excited. I chose the Lux uh, bundle collection and okay. Ta-da! But first and foremost, before we leave this room to go do laundry, how freaking romantic is that? You guys, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Goodbye, bedding. See you, uh, actually never see you again because um, I'm so excited for this new chapter in my life. Okay, and then the front. They kind of look the same. Or in the middle, like that, huh? I guess in the middle. Those are cool. Yeah. I was on Amazon and I saw these neon LED strips that you can basically attach to any surface and you don't have to plug it into an outlet. I think it's rechargeable as well. So you just have to put batteries in it and recharge it whenever it runs out of battery. And Carlos has been wanting lights under his TV stand and under his desk. And I think it came in a pack of three or something, or I don't know, three, right? Yeah, three each box or six or something. So I got him a few strips. He's gonna put some under under his TV stand and under his desk. I'll link them down below for you guys. We were gonna go with the, the original LED, strip, LED strips, but you had to plug it in and we didn't have an outlet available. So these are really cool. You can just like pop them on anything and it'll make that area look super fun. Here are the lights, you guys. It's so cool. So when Carlos was applying it, he said that they're magnetic. So whenever you guys need to charge it, you just basically snap it off and it's so easy. And you can put them anywhere. So you can even put these like in the kitchen. But Carlos is gonna show you the different colors because he's very excited for them. Oh, yeah. is there one more? Yeah, I have one more. But I mean, I don't have enough for the desk. I also wanna put some over here on my desk. So this is a 3mm adhesive. You just take this off, you paste it, and then since it, this already sticks on, you basically just like pull it out. And then you have a little USB-C, not USB-C, sorry, it's just the USB, the older ones. Mm -hmm. Connects there and stuff, so you, you just charge it. Nice. And that's it. 
And then the control for the remote. Is, oh yeah, is, Carlos is, is can that. show you. It comes with a controller and you can choose what colors you want or the colors can move by themselves. Yeah. And it comes in a pack of six in one box. And I think it's like $65 for six. The only thing it doesn't have is like, so since there's six of us, that, six of them, that'd be kind of cool if it had like one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And then you choose the light that you want to control. Oh, okay. The, this basically the controls every single one. Here, turn off the light so we can show our friends the different different colors. So that's green. Uh-huh. You can turn them up brighter. Oh, okay. Or you can dim them, obviously. And then different colors? Yeah. And so then you got you also have a timer and then you can or you can just go straight up white light. Oh, nice. Warm? Mhm. Mm white. Mhm. Mm uh, and then you got your reds. Yellow? Yellow. Like greenish. Do the colors move by themselves? Yeah. But I'm, uh, uh, let me, I'm just showing you all the colors, green, and then the blue tones. Mm-hmm. Purple. Purple. And then you got, like... Nice. That's fun. That's... I this would be fun for parties. I think that's a strobe. No, this is a strobe. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool if they all matched the color, huh? Yeah. It's just hard to get... See, those three are matching, so now I have to get this one to match. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, you guys. It is literally still so soft after washing it, and it smells amazing. I'm so excited. Wow. And it's so cold on the skin, too. That's what I love. I love jumping into, like, bed sheets that are cold. Am I happy now? Oh, am I happy now? Oh, this is literally the smallest detail but i love when bed sheets like the fitted bed sheets have long side and short side so you know when you put the fitted sheet on which side goes on the short side and which side goes on the long side so you don't have to go through all of that hard work and then mess up and start all over nice, Ooh, nice. that was way easier than our last one i like how cold it feels huh it feels good. It's like super like smooth. I like it. I like it too. Wait, this one fits on like perfectly. I know, right? The other one's too big. And I like that it feels durable. So when the dogs do this big, yeah, the other one was getting all roughed up. You know, some people um steam their bedding. Really. Yeah, we should start steaming our bedding. Oh, isn't that what they do in hotels? Yeah. Well, this feels like like hotel quality too. I was, I was just about to say that. Like, it feels like, oh. Yeah, I like it. Nice, right? Yeah. I like the color. It's nice. I don't know if we should have gone darker, but. Okay, when bedding's this good, I don't mind doing the bed. Oh my God, babe, look how good it looks already. Reminds me of elementary school. <laughs> Goes well with the ship lap. Yeah. The cream. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you. I don't think brown is the way to go on that. This one stops right here, baby. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to go in with my steamer because now I just want that hotel quality like look and feel and I have it and I'm so close. There's some wrinkles from the dryer, so I want to make sure that I like go in and steam all of those. But I love this cream color. I think it goes so well with the color on the shiplap behind our bed. But you guys, look how luxurious it looks. Oh my goodness, and we're washing our duvet right now. So we're gonna do, we're gonna put our duvet insert inside the duvet cover. So that's why um, it looks kind of flat right now, but I wanted to give you guys a, kind of like a preview of what it looks like, and it's so pretty. Oh, do you guys love the arch? Stunning! I absolutely love it. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm literally obsessed. I'll link everything down below for you guys if you want the exact same one. I know a lot of you guys also love like the beige nude cream family. I feel like this is going to elevate any bedroom. Like bedding is just so important. I'm I'm so excited to literally buy way more colors. But check out Brooklyn and I'll link them down below for you guys. Use the discount code Kim Tai on their website for $20 off any order, $100 and more. Hello, welcome back to Kim's channel. We're in a new house. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just got here to our hotel that we're going to be staying in for the next two days. And as you guys know, we're down here for my friend Jose's wedding. Yay! Which is tomorrow. But today we just got here. I'm going to hop in the shower right now because we're going to go eat Shibuya. Yeah. Guess what I'm wearing? You guys, this is going to be a crew neck that we're launching November 11th for our small business. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've talked about it already, but I haven't shared the name or the website or anything. But I wanted to show you guys one of the pieces. This is one out of three. We also have a t-shirt and a jumbo tote that's like huge. But this is the crew neck. It says Mental Health Matters. We love this font. It's like a upgraded version of the last one and it's embroidered. And then my favorite part is on the sleeve here, it says you matter here. I love this crew neck. It has a lot of meaning for me and I know it's going to mean a lot to you guys. So I'm really excited. And then there's like other detailing. I'll do a whole video, but today I'm wearing it. And Carlos is wearing the t-shirt tonight. Yeah, I have a t-shirt. Uh, I, I didn't wear it because I went to go cut my hair, so I'm all dirty. So yeah. that's why I'm going to shower and then I'll put it on. I'm going to do a room tour. So I'm going to show you guys while Carlos showers. Well, I mean, do it. Do oh, it okay. Well, this is the door. The door. You got to put that little card in to get the power. See? Oh yeah, insert card for power. Insert. We're staying at the Spring Hill Marriott in Huntington Beach, which fun fact, Carlos and I used to stay at this hotel when we did our like couples sleepover. Sorry, yeah. mom. <laughs> But yeah, so we used to stay here all the time. And then we have this beautiful couch here that someone else could probably sleep on here. And it's quite comfortable. It's pretty wide. So you have this little seating area. On the right here, you can find a beautiful microwave if you want to eat in-house and not have to eat out or order. And then also a nice size fridge for shorter stays. Then you got your ice bucket right there with some cups. Yes, and they have an ice machine in the hallway. And then this is like the little lounge area. This is a little desk. You can get your work done or tomorrow I'll be getting ready here, which is really nice. Very spacious. And I also really like that there's like a separation between, I think you can move this. Yeah. There's a separation between kind of lounge and then bed. Even though it's like a smaller room, it feels as if it's bigger. You have your entertainment center, which is your TV. Pulls out. And then this really comfortable bed. I think this is a queen. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I forgot what we booked. But this is our bed. And I love hotels now that have like chargers here in case you forget your little cubes. Oh, yeah. They have the little... You don't have to bring your brick with you anymore. Yeah. Got the little... USB connection. And then I love hotels where you can adjust the AC instead of it being controlled by the hotel. So we have an AC system. They're building an in and out next door, which is huge. Oh yeah, you guys, the, the in and out that's being built here is super big, but it's also on beach, which is like, it's gonna be a shit show whenever it's open. And then you have more blankies in here, but this is a closet and then a nice size mirror so you can look at yourself. And then over here is the bathroom, which is, has a really nice clean high ceiling shower tall enough for Carlos, beautiful sink, beautiful lighting. Oh, There's I actually one. really like this. This is really dope. Isn't it pretty? The lighting And here. then you can poop here. It's nice. We, we love like staying it. here. Yeah, we really do like it. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Yeah. But anywho, we're going to go to Shibuya. Bye. As you guys know, I love Shibuya. It's this hot pot place in Fountain Valley, and it's so good. If you guys are ever in the Orange County area, please check out Shibuya. It's my first time trying it. Yes, it's Carlos's first time. We are rarely ever like in town together because usually one of us is home watching the dogs. So this weekend, we thought, aside from the really exciting wedding for Jose and Gabby, we thought we would, you know, take a few days away from the doggies and they can have a few days away from us because I'm sure they're tired of our, our shit as well. So since we're here, Shibuya Ooh. doesn't have, that's Carlos's tux. I'll nice. show you guys tomorrow. Since we're here, we figure we might enjoy, might as well enjoy our time and Shibuya doesn't have a long wait. So Carlos and I and Michelle actually, we're going to Shibuya tonight for dinner. Also, if you guys are wondering why the heck, why aren't we staying with our family? Because my mom's literally 10 minutes down the street. My brother's 20 minutes down the street. Carlos's mom is like 20 minutes down the freeway. We just wanted our privacy. We didn't want to bother them. We're going to be getting ready tomorrow. And we also want to be able to like leave and come home, you know, as early or as late as possible. Right now, Sophia is in school. So it's still like a Thursday night. I didn't want to bother them 
bedroom in case we stay out late tonight. And also, like, my mom really enjoys her sleep. I just, I don't know, right, baby? I just don't like bothering, yeah, then, like, our friends and family. And then we're gonna get home late tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah, and tomorrow's the actual wedding. We'll probably, like, walk through the door, maybe, like, if we're having a real, real good time and we're doing something after the wedding, we might come home at, like, 1 or 2 in the morning. I just don't want to bother anybody. And also, just, like, you know, a little bit of privacy so we can do whatever we want. We are gonna go to Shibuya. We will see you guys there. It's delicious. I'm so excited. You did not. For what reason, Carlos? You can't live two days without gaming? When you guys leave. Oh, I should have brought my PS5, man. We're only here for two nights, you guys. Carlos was irresponsible what? and didn't shower at home. I did. Wait, no, no, no. I did, as you no, guys no, can no. tell. I was going to shower and you said no. And I'm you were not going to shower because we had to drop off the boys. On top of that, you had me do everything. I do oh, what did you do? What did you do? You're a liar. You, what did you do? You are such a liar. Anyways, I showered at home because I'm responsible. Carlos! Was that too loud? Okay. I need to simmer. I got Jose and Gabby a card because Carlos also was irresponsible. No, that's and not true. <laughs> that was my idea. I'm just, it was not. This is too bright. Sorry, you guys. I wanted to show you guys the card that we got Gabby and Jose. We got it at Target. It's so cute. Look at it. It says Mr. and Mrs. has like a 3D dress and tux. I love cards. We are leaving to Shibuya after this, I promise. Carlos is just gonna shower right now and Michelle's on her way. So in the Vietnamese tradition or culture, our wedding tradition is usually almost all the time, almost, not everybody, but like almost always, like very close, like I would say like 95% of people who go to weddings in the Vietnamese culture, we do money. And I don't know if it's the same in every Vietnamese family, but at least growing up, I was always taught to do like $100 and more. So Carlos and I went and got cash and we got a brand new $100 bill, but I wanted to show you guys, did you guys know the banks have $2 bills. So we decided to add a $2 bill in for good luck. We always get $2 bills for Asian New Lunar New Year's, which is that for us. So for that, we always get $2 bill. And so I'm gonna put the cash in here and then I'm going to make sure it's in here. Baby, cash is in here, okay? That's what happens when you're anxious like me. You know what happens, you guys? I put the money in here, right? You guys witness it. But then like in the car driving to the wedding tomorrow, I'll be like, oh my God, did I put the money in there? And then I'll start freaking out. Literally, it's just my mind playing games with me. Look, babe, the cash is in here. I wanna double check again. 100 and then $2. Okay, I'm also very against licking envelopes. I think some girl licked a lot of envelopes and like got really sick. This came with a sticker, so. So hopefully tomorrow when we show up to the wedding, they have those like money boxes at the front, like at the guest sign-in. This is actually my first like American wedding. Does that make sense? Like this is my first time witnessing someone walk down the aisle. I've only ever been to Vietnamese weddings and none of the brides have walked down the aisle. My my sister didn't really walk down the aisle because we had like the traditional Vietnamese tea ceremony. So this is like my first time witnessing a bride like walk down the aisle in, I think I think they're having it at a Catholic church. And then after we're gonna have the reception, I think like 20 minutes away at a venue. So this is kind of like my first like real wedding. I've only ever seen them on TV. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, so I can't forget this tomorrow. Okay, so now we just like sit and chill. I unpacked everything. Do you guys wanna see? I literally unpacked everything. I have all of my stuff. I have my Faha for the wedding. My photo light. I got like a little light. We can carry it if anybody wants to take pictures at the wedding. I have my purse, my shoes, my jewelry, my boob tape, and then I have my Tums in case, in case my stomach hurts. So that's for the wedding. And then I packed all of my makeup brushes in here. And then I literally brought a crap ton of makeup in this container. Maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow in the morning when I'm getting ready. <laughs> Found a stranger at my door I plan on killing her. Ew. I love being killed. <laughs> We're just waiting for my damn husband. <laughs> We're hungry. Hello. 3,000 hours later, I'm still waiting for my husband. So I spread out my makeup for tomorrow and I wanted to show you guys. You guys, isn't this like a mini Sephora? I love it. I literally brought everything from my home because I did not know what I needed and I didn't want to be in a situation where I needed something. So we have all of the brushes. I could not decide between these three foundations that I love, so I might mix it. Michelle's gonna swatch the lippies for me tonight to see which one will look better. I'm debating between going with mauve or red with my dress, so I don't know yet. And then I brought lashes, powder, and a bunch of like bronzers and stuff. And you guys, I almost almost forgot this. Hello. How was I gonna do my makeup without a mirror? We're here, Shibuya. Um, it's gonna take like a minute to seat us. Hi. Hi. 
If you like Napa cabbage, if you like that, you can put it in your soup. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you grab whatever you want. There's so many options. Yes, please. How much? Um, another one, and then I'm good. There's also seafood here you can put in your hot pot and a bunch of noodles. They even have like dumplings and eggs. Beauty. I didn't even realize there was potatoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Michelle I never gets know. the potatoes. There weren't any on that side? I guess I've never really paid attention to it. I was about to pass by them because I thought they were radish or something. Good morning, friends. It is wedding day today. The hotel had free breakfast from 9.30 until, I'm sorry, 6.30 until 9.30. Oh, 6.30 until 9.30. So Carlos and I woke up early to get breakfast. It is almost seven right now. Raquel is on her way. You guys know Raquel does my hair for special occasions and I love her. And then her husband, Mario, does literally everything around the house. He literally can build you a house if you want to. So Mario does everything around our house and Raquel does everything dealing with my hair but she is actually driving all the way to Orange County because I booked her to do Gabby's hair for her birth or no, birthday her wedding that was one of Gabby's big gifts for her wedding so Raquel is doing Gabby's hair at 10 and she's gonna be here at like 7 30 to do my hair and then she's gonna head over to Gabby's area or Gabby's hotel to do her hair for her wedding so I'm really excited thank you so much babe uh -huh. I'm really excited to see Gabby walk down the aisle she's gonna look stunning and like see the finished product so that's why we're up and early trying to get some breakfast in because we won't eat until probably 5 30 this afternoon at the reception it's probably a good ideas for Carlos and I. Baby, do you want salt and pepper? Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. Anyways, it's probably a good idea for us to get something in our bellies. This is what I grabbed at the front. I got eggs, bacon. Baby, what are these called? Muffins. They're they're not bagels. Muffins? Fudge. Yeah. Ah. What are these called, you guys? It's too early. Biscuit. Biscuits? No. No, no, no. You guys, I don't remember. Let me know. I don't remember. And then I got granola. Ben oh, the, babe, they have banana. They're the ones that they use for the uh, Yeah, the, I just can't remember. The muffins, right? And then my yogurt and then orange juice. Yeah, English muffins. Oh, English muffins? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and then I grabbed two bananas for later in the day. why this light was like bothering us this whole time you guys I feel like you couldn't see me I couldn't see you but then I moved it up and we're all good I forgot to bring a like a button-down shirt so when I get my hair done I don't have to like pull the shirt over my head and ruin my hair so we improvised I'm wearing a sports bra and then I took a towel and tied it so Raquel can comfortably do my hair she'll probably be here in probably like 30 minutes or so so I'm just chilling I'm like debating if I should like do maybe like the foundation of my face thank God my skin is good today Today. I've been moisturizing all week. I probably should use as much time as possible. I'm gonna start like maybe the base of my face right now. Raquel is here, everyone. How exciting! You've been doing a lot of stuff to your house, huh, Kim? I know. We've been literally That's remodeling the last two months. I know. Yeah. When you come over, the house is gonna look so different. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to well, see. Mario did half of it, so he probably goes home and tells you what he did today. He's so funny. He is. Oh my gosh. I'll ask him like one thing, and then he'll like go tell me like six more stories. Oh. Oh God. Does he do that to Dude, you? He, I told you he's <laughs> such a talker. I'm like, I'm like mm -hmm. I asked him one little question and next thing I know we're standing there listening to this story about like his friend from 20 years ago. <laughs> Yeah. Does that feel okay, Kim? Yeah, that feels okay. good. I'm so glad my extensions moved down so you have room to clip yes. them. Yes. No, they look good. You went longer, huh? Yes, I did. And they're, so I, I, I think I'm on like seven weeks or something. So I'm due for a move but out, that's I think. Perfect. That's yeah, I was like, oh, this is perfect for the wedding in case yeah. Raquel does extensions. Yeah, nope, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. I think it'll look pretty though, like the look you picked to have it more like fluffy. Yeah, I we love can, fluffy. We can fluff Because I also don't want to go crazy, like, you know, because it's like a Brett wedding. I like yeah. don't want to go like crazy, crazy. And it's, it's going to relax too, you know? Right. So, but it will stay.
You know what? It just might be the whole shebang. I'm just not used to this. You say this every time you have a party because you do the full face mm. and you go, something's not right. <laughs> okay, come on. Just give me the red. Let's just do it before we both change just our mind and then this. Can I have the liner, Mom? You're sure because once it goes on, it is a bitch to take off. Because you're right. This goes on and it's not coming off. No contacts? The contacts are extreme with the red. The contacts are too much, huh? A little bit. Wow, so are we over this contact decade? I think so. Ah, I shouldn't have put them on then. I think that's what making me feel not myself. I don't, yeah, I don't. You don't put on contacts. I don't like contacts yeah. anymore. I don't know what we really thought. Okay, mom. Baby. Yes? You think no contacts, right? That's what's making me look freaking weird. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's thing, uh, Have you ever done that thing, mom, where you use your nails to pinch it? I'll put them on. Got one. Thank God. <sighs> Much better. Do you feel better? Yes. It was the contacts, you guys. Oh, it was the contact that was making. <gasps> I feel pretty again. Wait, let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Why did anyone tell me I look scary? Well, it wasn't. We didn't know. Yeah. We're so used to always. You always put on contacts. No more contacts for me. Hello friends, this is my dress. We actually just came back from the ceremony. We were like all rushing, so I didn't even get to show you guys my hair and my dress. My green dress is from this company called Meshki. I'll link it down below for you guys. I actually had to get it altered because it was just too big for me. So I got it trimmed at the bottom. I am gonna wear heels later. We have the reception in like an hour and a half. So we decided to come back to the hotel room. Carlos actually ended up going with his boys. Michelle and I are back here. This is the dress I ended up brushing my hair out because I wanted really big voluminous hair but isn't this color so pretty and then the back is like kind of like a I don't know how to explain the back it has like a you know like a yeah one of those things and then it has a V pairing it with my pearl earrings but we're gonna eat and then head to the reception good morning friends oh wait it's not morning <laughs> It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Last night we came home from the wedding at like 11 or so. We all ordered food in our hotel room. We stayed up until probably 2 o'clock and then we checked out of the hotel today at noon and we just got back home. I think it's like probably 3 o'clock right now. Carlos is eating food at, there he is. That's him right there eating food. <laughs> Hi. And then I realized that I had some flat meat in the fridge so I thought I'd save money and not order and just make up some rice so. I have some rice cooking in my rice cooker and then I have my meat in my air fryer and today we're taking it slow It is all about unpacking before this whole thing just sits there. I hate unpacking. That is like a fun fact about me I love packing, but I absolutely hate unpacking and it's a Saturday So we want to take it really slow tidy up the house a little bit and then tomorrow's Sunday and prepare for the work week But I'm really excited to eat. I'm so hungry. I'm finally eating you guys. I have kimchi kimchi I got this from H Mart Usually I eat almost kimchi because she makes my favorite, but I don't have any today And then I have some radish Korean radish this one Oma made and then I have my flat meat that I popped in the air fryer And then I have my pickled jalapenos and carrots that are in like those little cans that you can find from like a Mexican store or Target or like Seda Brothers And then I made some jasmine rice and we're watching the amazing race. Carlos and I are obsessed Mmm Jalapenos are so good. It's popcorn night! I haven't had popcorn in, oh my goodness. I can't tell you the last time I had popcorn. I'm so excited. I got the extra butter one. Popcorn, popcorn, come here. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Hopefully I didn't burn it. Oh, it smells so good, boys.
Perfect. I did two minutes if you guys are interested in knowing. I need to go tomorrow to get candy because I totally forgot that next or this coming, no, next Monday is Halloween. And I made the same mistake last year. I didn't get candy. I went literally Sunday to get candy at Target and the candy aisles were completely wiped out. So I need to go get candy. Hello friends, it's Sunday. I just got back from running a bunch of errands. I didn't bring my camera with me because I thought it'd be so boring. And you guys would be honestly so bored just watching me run errands all day. Day. Unless you're into that, let me know in the comments. I got my nails done. I got my nails done last week and I got like the most beautiful French long nails. But that was for the wedding and I quickly had to chop them off, you guys, because I could not answer emails, edit, work on my computer. It was just, I was lagging by like 20 minutes. Like everything was just so slow for me. I cannot function with long nails. I wish I could because the nails were so freaking beautiful. Riley just farted. I think it's going to smell. But I went back to the salon today and just had them chopped down and I got this like beigey pinky nude color and it's so beautiful you guys know I only do like beigey nudes because I am a boring basic bitch very very boring I wanted a really nice mocha brown but they didn't have anything nice it was really giving me diarrhea poop <laughs> so we didn't go that route so we just went with this I also have my photo shoot next weekend I'm so excited our small business is launching November 11th I'll definitely talk about that in another video but if you guys follow me on Instagram then you know all the details but we have a photo shoot shoot next weekend and I'm shooting with Jesse who shoots all of Remy's content and it is so so exciting because I've been wanting to meet Jesse for the longest time but he is doing our first ever campaign photo shoot and so I'm really excited about that because all of the models in the photo shoot are actually going to be subscribers of mine who personally have dealt with mental health or have been following our journey for a while so I am extremely excited to meet all of you guys at the photo shoot but I'll talk about that in a little bit Carlos and I are gonna make dinner. On the menu today, we are doing fire noodles with other noodles with pork belly, wrapped cucumbers. Yeah, that's what we're doing. A bunch of things. We've been craving it for a very long time. Oh, better look at my nails in this angle. So cute. I love it. I know I said I'll talk about this in a little bit, but I'm honestly so excited for the photo shoot. I'm really excited that you guys get to be a part of every step of this journey. And it feels so weird that we are finally launching this business that we've been talking about for the last year, but we've had planning in our heads since 2019. I'll probably do like maybe Maybe like a day in my life as a business owner? A day in my life as a influencer? I don't know. I've never done one of those. So I thought they'd be fun because I'm still going to continue doing what I do online like YouTube and Instagram and all that. And then on the other end, I'm going to be running the business with Carlos. So it's kind of weird to like have both things going on. But I've been, I've been dreaming of this business since I was in high school. So it has been like 13 years of dreaming about this. So I'm really excited for it. But we'll talk about it in the day in my life video. Are you guys interested in that? Would that be fun? I think it would. These are the noodles that we're eating today. We're eating our favorite Indomay. My favorite noodles, these are so good. I'll link them down below because you can also get them on Insta Instagram. <laughs> you can also get them on Amazon. And then my favorite fire noodles. These are the first ones. The second ones are a little bit too hot for me. But what Carlos and I do is we mix all of these together and we wrap them in lettuce and it's absolutely delicious. Like I cannot express to you how good this is. By the way, while you guys are watching this, we're redoing our pantry. Yeah. We're doing our pantry in a few days, so I think you guys will see that in next week's vlog. So we're gonna have Mario and Louie, who you guys, if you need anything done in your house, contact Mario and Louie. They're so reasonably priced and so honest with you and just really realistic. And they are so professional. They do amazing work. They don't take shortcuts. Everything is perfect and I just love them so much. We're just redoing literally almost everything in this house. And if you're wondering, it's because we finally have money to do it. <laughs> Cause you, can, you guys know renovations and remodeling a lot of money so we've been saving up for like the last year and it just so happens that we are doing all of these little projects at the same time so it feels like we're doing a lot and then we also are doing something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time but I'll show you guys that in another video. I will probably cry when we do it. Ah, I'm, I'm honestly so excited to share this home with you guys and I think we might do a furnished completed house tour. Bless you baby. When this whole entire house is completely done. Are you guys interested in that? Is that something you wanna watch? My current favorite, actually I'm obsessed with this. Carlos likes the carrots. 
You guys, if you see this at the store, buy it. They're not even that spicy. They just have like the nice like hint of spice and it tastes so good with everything. Pizza, sandwiches, rice, like everything. But this one is my favorite. I like the pickled jalapenos with the carrots. And I get this container because it comes with like smaller jalapenos. If you get the bigger one, they come with gigantic jalapenos and I like like the small one. But what Carlos and I do is we put it in this container and we keep it in our fridge. So we were running out, so I grabbed, woo! It's my favorite. We just grabbed more. The jalapenos are so good. Do you guys eat this at home? Have you ever tried it? This with sandwiches, like, is everything. Let me pour the juice out of this one. Oi, oi, oi. There we go. Carlos likes when it's like all carrots. He loves the carrots. I will say the carrots are pretty good. And now we're stocked up for the next week. <laughs> we literally eat it with everything. We're so in love. Oh, these are nice. Mm -hmm. Nice and beautiful looking. Oh, yeah. Good. Can I have a jalapeno, baby? Yeah. Mmm. Isn't it good? Mm hmm. I only made a little pork belly. Did you want more? Because last time we like didn't eat a lot. I think we should be okay. Mmm. 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 Wow. How good is that, babe? Really good. Oh, really good. Mmm. If you want more pork belly, baby, let me know. Okay. I don't know if I made enough. I didn't want to like over make it, you know? Mm -hmm. Friends, I am going to call it a night. This is going to be the end of the vlog because your girl had a crazy few days this past week and I have a crazy week coming up. We're getting ready for our small business launch in two weeks we have our photo shoot next week which i'm really excited about if you guys have been following me on instagram then you know everything that's been going on so make sure you guys follow me there on instagram i've also been keeping my instagram family updated with the whole entire like little remodels i've been doing here and there but you guys the most important thing is i want to give you guys a little bit of my personal opinion about these brooklinen bedding sheets oh my goodness you guys i'm not trying to be dramatic but these are the most comfortable, luxurious, bougie feeling, like the nicest bedding I've ever slept on. I've been sleeping like a baby. I've been loving it because it literally feels so like cold and cozy. I love that feeling like when you jump into bed and I'm like literally about to fall asleep. You know when you jump into bed and the sheets are like kind of cold, like at a nice temperature. We're talking like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you know? I love that feeling and it feels so good. It literally feels like I'm sleeping at like a really nice five-star resort. I highly recommend, check out Brooklinen down below. I'll have the links and everything for you guys. There's also a discount code, Kim Tai. It takes $20 off, $100 or more. So use my discount code on Brooklinen's website, Kim Tai, K-I-M-T-H-A-I. I will link it down below for you guys. Check out everything that I got from Brooklinen. I love this cream color, by the way, but the best bed sheets ever. I've been sleeping like a baby. I love it. Ugh. It feels so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I love this color. I love it. I highly recommend. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Eventful week coming up, you guys. We have the small business launch. We have the home remodels. And then Vlogmas is in four weeks. Vlogmas. I'm sorry, where did this year go?
Like, I just don't understand where 2022 went. Didn't we just end Vlogmas? Vlogmas is coming back. And we are doing 25 days of giveaways. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment, like this video, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys then. Bye.